32 stake races were contested over two days at the Indiana County Fairgrounds in Indiana, Pennsylvania. A late afternoon car was featured on day one, and Quick Pop won a Quaker pace in 203 and 4 fifths. Chris Shaw drove for owners Chad Kreiser and Jason Shaw. McRum and Coke went even faster in his Quaker pace, covering the mile in 202 and 3 for trainer driver Joe Offit, who co owns the McArdle Gelding with Samuel Stoltzfus. And the horse racing on top. That is number one coming under the wire of the winner, McRum and Coke. The remainder of the card featured Pennsylvania sire stake races for sophomores. In a Colt trot, North Broadway was a winner in 206 and 2 for catch driver Roger Hammer. Kyle Bolin owns the son of Broadway Hall, while Rod Bolin trains. In another group, Mr. McRail was a 206 winner for driver Timmy Offit. Jack and Sharon Claypool owned the Donnerail Gelding, now a winner of four races in 2010. Lisa Beinhauer was the winning trainer. In a Philly trot, the Claypools won their second race of the night along with a trainer-driver combination of Beinhauer and Timmy Offit as Rosie Chick scored in 2.08 and 1.5. The SJ's Caviar Philly has now won twice in her last three outings. The stopwatch never made it to two minutes in a Colt pacing division as Straight Character cut fractions of 30 and 4, 1 minute and 2 fifths, and 1.29 and 4 before stopping the timer in 1.58 and 3, the fastest mile in the history of the Indiana County Half Mile Oval. David Brickle drove the 10-time winner for owner-trainer Bob Kronitsky, Jr. In other Colt pacing action, Luscious Al survived a long first over trip to win in 2 minutes and 1 fifth for owner-trainer driver Roger Hammer. Luscious Al is a gelded son of Arturo. Philly Pacers ended the evening, and I'm Not Bad Hanover was a winner for trainer driver Steve Schoffel. The no pan intended Philly paced the mile in 202 and 2 for her fourth win of the season. The final race of the car was captured by Hammer and Nevin Gilbert's My Gal McKenna, a real artist Philly. My Gal McKenna won her 11th race in 14 starts by pacing in 201 and 2 fifths. The next afternoon, Shanae opened the car with a 212 win in the lone division of the Quaker Trot. Timmy Offit drove the SJ's Caviar Philly for trainer Terry Altmeyer. For Shanae, it was her second career win. In freshman Pennsylvania sire stake action, Center County won the first of three divisions of the Colt Trot with a 2.11 and 4.5 mile. Wilbur Yoder drove the John McMullen trainee. Unbeatable Hanover scored in the second division for his first career win. Joe Offit trains and drove the SJ's Caviar Colt to a 207 and 1 5th victory. The final Colt trotting division was won by KT Tag Amit, who sat patiently at mid pack through the first half before making his move down the backstretch. KT Tag Amit scored in 206 for trainer Ken Weaver and driver Eddie McKnight. In the first of three Philly trotting sire stake events, Howardina Hanover broke her maiden with a 206 and 2 5th win for trainer driver Kim Good, who also owns the Andover Hall Philly. In another group, Bill Fay guided Philly Bay out of his own stable to a 207 and 2 5th win. Colt Pacers were next, and Todd Shadle's Sapphire City won in a fast 159 and 4 5th time with a 28 and 1 last quarter. The mile was a track record for freshman Pacers. In a Philly pacing division, Blissful Artist was a winner for driver Eric Neal. Trained by Randy Neal, Blissful Artist lowered her lifetime mark to 201 and 3 fifths.